joining me this morning for the devotional. This is my second one as we start this new season, this new thing, this experiment, morning devotions. Um, these first few days won't be all that interesting as far as like production value and all that. This is just my real stripped down, kind of like the pilot episode of a new television series that they're bringing out to kind of give the structure, the bare bones, the setup. Um, but we're we're going to be making a better intro outro and also using a little bit better uh, recording quality for the ones in the future. But I'm very thankful that you joined me this morning. And uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll get into it. Not not such a long intro today, so we'll have more time just to be in scripture. Let me open and pray this morning. Amen. Pray with me, Lord. I thank you so much for this day um, that you have made, and I'm so glad and I rejoice in it. Thank you for those who are joining me today as uh, we join, not to hear me speak, Lord, but just to share your word together as we develop uh, good and excellent disciplines in our life, knowing you, praying, reading our Bible, and setting our day at the beginning with you. Thank you for this time, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, today is the, the first of the month, so I'm actually going to start in Proverbs 1. I, I talked to you yesterday about reading the Proverbs of the day. That's something my dad's been doing for ever since I can remember, and, and, and a lot of the people like him. So shout out to you, Dad, if you are watching this. Um, but he'd read what he called the Proverbs of the day. Proverbs has 31 uh, chapters in it. And so you can read all the way every month through Proverbs, uh, the book of Proverbs once. It's, it's a book on wi uh, wisdom literature and what's what we call it and just a ton of wisdoms written by solomon the son of david always going to be the wisest man so today we'll start in proverbs one so you pause it get the bible gate gateway.com and you get all the hdsb version if you want to follow with me and we'll restart proverbs one the proverbs of solomon son of david king of israel for learning what wisdom and discipline are for understanding insightful sayings for receiving wise instruction in righteousness justice and integrity for teaching shrewdness to the inexperienced knowledge and discretion to a young man a young man you know you guys get that right a wise man will listen and increase his learning and a discerning man will obtain guidance for understanding a proverb or a parable the words of the wise and their riddles the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge fools despise wisdom and discipline Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and don't reject your mother's teaching, for they will be a garland of grace on your head and a gold chain around your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, don't be persuaded if they say, Come with us. Let's set an ambush and kill someone. Let's attack some innocent person just for fun. Let's swallow them alive like Sheol, still healthy as they go down to the pit. We'll find all kinds of valuable property and fill our houses with plunder. Throw in your lots with us and we'll all share our money. My son, don't travel that road with them or set foot on their path because their feet run toward trouble and they hurry to commit murder. It is foolish to spread a net where any bird can see it, but they set an ambush to kill themselves. They attack their own lives. Such are the paths of all who make profit dishonestly. It takes the lives of those who receive it. Wisdom calls out in the street. She raises her voice in the public square. She cries out above the commotion. She speaks at the entrance of the city gates. How long, foolish ones, will you love ignorance? How long will you mockers enjoy mocking, and you fools hate knowledge? If you respond to my warning, then I will pour out my spirit on you and teach you my words. Since I called out and you refused, extended my hand and no one paid attention, since you neglected all my counsel and did not accept my correction, I, in turn, will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you, when terror strikes you like a storm, and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when troubles and stress overcome you. Then they will call me, but I won't answer. They will search for me, but won't find me. Because they hated knowledge, didn't choose to fear the Lord, were not interested in my counsel, and rejected all my correction. They will eat the fruit of their way and be glutted with their own schemes. 
For the turning away of the inexperienced will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live securely and be free from the fear of danger. It's such a great intro in Proverbs 1 right away, um, talking about going with those who are sinful. Uh, students, uh, especially, you have the choice every day as the beginning of Proverbs uh 1 and going through verse 19 talks about to throw yourself in, throw your lot in with those who are destructive, um, who want nothing but to destroy life. Um, don't go that way. Don't go that path. Um, set your heart on the Lord. The thing is when calamity comes to those people, then they cry out to God. I know you've all seen that. Perhaps we, you and I, we've done that. We've, When things go bad, we call out on God, but all of a sudden it's like, man, where is he? And he was always there. But he waits for us. He waits for us to call out to him, to walk in his ways. Um, don't hate knowledge. Seek out God's instruction and honor those places where you get it and receive peace. Um, we'll also uh, look today into uh, Oswald Chambers. Once again, if, uh, if before you pause this, uh, or you can pause this and then go to um, utmost.org, U-T-M-O-S-T dot org. It's utmost.org. And there you'll find uh, the intro or the the uh, devotion for Oswald Chambers. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can pause it now, read it yourself. Um, and when you're finished, come back and I'll explain to you. So pause now. And... All right, well, you pause it or you may not have. If not, I'll summarize today a little bit what the Oswald Chambers devotion for today was talking about. Um, there's a couple different root verses, but in John 21:17. Uh, the do you love me when Jesus is asking Peter do you love me and, and this devotion is really cutting the heart it's easy for us to be like yes Lord I love you God I love you I love you with all my heart um, but when it really comes down to it really living that life of of love towards God when God really wants to know if we love him it cuts us it cuts deep into us because we realize man do I do I have what it takes to love God and without his grace and his strength can I really do it on my own but we realize we can and, and, and but we have to be honest with ourselves that naturally it'd be hard for us, but with him we can. It says in Hebrews 4.12, For the word of God is living and powerful, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit. And that's that, that knife that cuts in, but it, it divides and it cuts away sin, the same way a surgeon cuts away cancer, that there's, even though they have it has to be cut in, what they cut out is bad, it brings death. And what happens when we're, we're healed and we're sewed up and the cancer's been removed, we now have life. Uh, it's a great once again read that um, if you didn't read it and you just went through pause now go to utmost.org and read this devotion by Oswald Chamber just to challenge you today to love Jesus um, we'll go ahead and close out on time of prayer I just want to bless your day and uh, we'll continue to do this day by day I'm excited you you can read uh, today in, in Matthew it's the first of the month may start in the book of Matthew start in the book of John and just begin to read uh, starting next week I'll, I'll, I'll start to give you some scripture you can read out of you know read through the Bible in a year so I'll give you some scripture to read through uh, just to set you on the right path and you can take more time and pray after this but let me go ahead pray for you bless your day Lord I thank you so much for this day for all the good things you give us and you provide for us Lord I pray that you would be with everyone out there as they go to school as they go to work as they tend their family as they run errands let them be a light for you a light for your salvation in the world and a vessel of mercy and grace in the name of Jesus Amen and amen. We love you guys. Have a great day. God bless.